Hi, I'm Rob Vaviser. Um, this is my home here on Leeds Island Road in Guilford. And we have a lot of concerns about the upcoming FRA decision because our house is very close to the railroad tracks, which they want to quadruple, make double, uh, existing double, make a quadruple track between Brantford and Guilford. Um, we don't actually know what they plan to do because they've given us no details, but our house is probably about 30 feet from the actual rails, um, and we see it here at currently and it's fine but we do not know where they would plan to put two more rails in and what impact it would have on this house which is a historic structure on the National Register. Um, the whole district we're living in actually from Branford, Stony Creek um, all the way through to the West River Bridge in Guilford is a National Register historic district so there are many homes like this one um, as well as other homes that uh, people live in and they don't know what's going to happen to their homes because this expansion is quite dramatic and people's homes are quite close to the tracks that have been here since 1850 and this would be a major change. Hi, I'm Emily Waters-Harris. I live just down the road on Lease Island Road here in Guilford, Connecticut. Um, our house also backs onto the railroad tracks. Between our backyard and the tracks there's a vernal pool that changes with the seasons uh, that would be impacted conceivably by expanding the track to four tracks as opposed to the current two. Also our home um, is in the National Historic District, as Rob mentioned, and one of the major concerns is the lack of studies prior to this record of decision impacting things like our well, um, if they were to blast in that area and expand the tracks, as well as the environmental concerns and impacts.